Whoa, folks, in today's video, we're actually going to be doing a layout interview. So, yeah, there's been tons of cool stuff around my layout, so I decided to get to the video. So, first of all, I mean, the train tracks, you can't forget about those. There's the trains parked right now. And this is the town of Pikesville, which is what I like to call it. It's also home to the reckless drivers. <laughs> Literally. Okay, uh, so I had some extra tracks, so I decided to put my dad's old 3702 GP7 back here. And uh, this is what I like to call the Pikesville semi-loading area. Yeah, this is actually the town of Pikesville. That's a church from a kit from a Christmas of 20... Wait, no, 2017. So, yeah, we got that done just a month ago. Yeah, there, there's a signal bridge or the signal tower, whatever you like to call it. Yeah, you can see it's, you can see the signal of it. Also, the helix. This is a, this is hard to miss. This helix. Yeah, I actually made my own. It was just made out of boxes. Picture of Monorail Green as well. I even got the El Toro Loco pack. 1999 Bulldozer and 2013 El Toro Loco. And yeah, this is what I like to call the cattle grazing fields of 2584 because we actually got a steam engine. The road number is number 2584 right there. As long as my dad, I actually got it withered up with a little pencil. I kind of drew it on my finger. I smeared it. Uh, my dad's old Bay Window Caboose. Aerostate Freight Terminal right there. And yeah, that's really yeah, all, the, all, all that there is to see. So I'm just going to place my camp, uh, that on the helix. And also, there's also a villain trying to get the train to go too fast. Get out of here! So yeah, and uh, so I'm going to start the train up. Okay, this is good. There she goes. I want to make sure, make sure it doesn't go too fast because... Sometimes it will derail somehow. Let's make sure it goes like kind of slow a bit. Yeah, there she goes. Over New Hampshire Road Railroad Crossing. That's where I do most of my videos. Kind of seeing through the Ultra Loco pack. I'm gonna get a good view of this thing going by. There she goes. Okay. Yeah, there's yeah, the 3702 actually doesn't run. So it's like this is cool. You got the old Southern Pacific Railroad right here. And you can kind of see the BNSF 3001 off there all over there in the distance. Yeah. Pretty this is where they all load it up at the general store. Yeah, she's about to come through right here. Kind of see the track over there. It's like, this is the old Southern Pacific Main Line, and then kind of see BNSF 3001 going through right over there. Yeah, there she goes. Well, folks, that's going to be it for today's videos. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and give it a like. And it really helps me out. And join my channel, please, because it really does help me out. But before I went, I wanted to do a real quick interview on this engine. So this is BNSF 3001. I did some research on this thing. And um, this is actually a real engine. It says GP40-2R right there. Yeah, right there. And it's also got uh, knuckle couplers. I'm not sure if you guys ever noticed that in the video. Yeah, there they are. So this is a GP40 and an BN, old BNSF logo. Oh, I mean old BNSF paint scheme. Even the trucks. I don't. Know, those are my favorite features. I did a lot of detail. Oh, what the heck happened? So yeah, this is a. Um, also got the air horn up there. I'm pretty sure the air horn is supposed to be back in like at the back of the engine. But yeah, that's a mistake that they made because I saw videos or pictures of it. Also, the windows, yeah, look at how cool those look. Even the back, it's got lighting. Kind of see the lighting at the top of the front. Kind of see the lights back there. Yeah, they, have, they even have doors. Not external hand railing, it's actually pretty cool. 
But, um, yeah, well, folks, that's going to be it for this episode. Bye, guys.